Welcome to a game where I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Pokemon themed Jeopardy, everybody. This is a this is a interesting experience. I basically crammed as much Pokemon knowledge into my ass as I could, so we're just gonna see what we do. Although that's probably even less than our host this evening. Is utter devastation from the Jeopardy thing fucking server. Damn, I can't speak. Anyway, go Ooh. ahead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, hold on. I have a thing prepared for this. Do you know? Hello there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Cowtree. Yeah, that's a tree. And I'm Professor. People call me a Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. I am joined today by these four lovely trainers, and you're about to be testing all your Jeopardy knowledge. Yay! Are you ready? Yay. Hey. So without further ado, let's fill this board. And you're playing for Poke Dollars, because of course you are. Yes. Yeah. I could go to the yeah, Pokemon right. gift shop. Zach, you're going I'm first. Go buy whale. Um, your six starters for you. We're gonna start off with Let's Go Shiny Hunting. I'm then going to describe the speed run. Figure out which game is being speed run from the information provided. We then have uh, very interesting for this third category. We'll talk about some spin-offs. I then want you to predict the battle text. This is a multiple choice category. I will list a move and the Pokemon being hit by that move. You have to tell me if the battle text will say doesn't affect the Pokemon, not very effective, or super effective. And then in this final category, we have the missing letter. I'm going to show you a Pokemon, but I have secretly removed one letter from its name. You have to tell me which letter I took out. Let's go with the missing letter mm. 600. All right, here we go. Kangaskhan. Daisy. Uh, what is H? Yeah, Kangaskhan, K-H-A-N at the end. All right, uh, describing the speed one, 200. Head to Elm's lab, pick Cyndaquil, nickname it A, it must be male, and have 11 attack and 12 special attack. Donnie. What is Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal? Uh, yes. Very, very <laughs> nicely done. <laughs> I'll have spinoffs for 400. Let's go to spinoffs. This was downloaded by over 10 million users just six months into its July 2023 release, and that's nothing to snore at. Donnie. What is Pokemon Sleep? Pokemon Sleep. I see done. Spin off for 200. All right. It's the only spin off series that can be classified as a rail shooter. Donnie. What is Pokemon Snap? Yeah, the camera. Very interesting <laughs> for 200. All right, very interesting. Berries were introduced to incorporate this battle mechanic new to Gen 2. Daisy. Uh, what are hold items? Correct. Predict the battle text for 200. All right. Drill run is used on Pikachu. Daisy. Uh, what is it has no effect on the opposing Pikachu? Incorrect. Randy. What is it's very effective? I will take that. It's su super effective, but I'll, t I'll take it. That's ground on all. Yeah, super effective. Me and my adjectives. I wasn't actually expecting you to get to pick a category. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm not either. Don't worry. I'm the speed run for eight. Speed run for eight. To prepare for the Brock split, buy three po Pokeballs at Viridian Mart. Perform Nino Minip, then perform Triple Extended Minip. Daisy. Uh, what are Pokemon red and green? Yeah, the original ones, not the remakes. Describing speedrun for a thousand. You got it. In the first Obsidian Fields visit, try to catch one Starly and then get one Wurmple to fill your empty party slots. Daisy. What is Pokemon Legends Arceus? That's good for a thousand. Speedrun 600. More speedrunning. Pro tip, if you have two or more Pokemon in your party, you can summon player two by shaking the second Joy-Con if it's on. Donnie. What is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee? Those are both of them. Speedrun 400. Let's finish off speedruns. Give the Rose Incense to Candy Floss. Evolve Candy Floss using the Sunstone. Exit the bag and fly to Hullberry. Daisy. Uh, what is Pokemon Coliseum? No. Good guess, though. No, Hullberry is in Sword and Shield. Uh, let's go Shiny Hunting for 200. Let's... Introduced in Gen 5, this key item increases encounter rates. Daisy. Uh, what is the shiny egg? It's not. Donnie. What is the shiny charm? Shiny charm, yes. Uh, very interesting for 400. You got it. 
Berries can be used as ingredients to make curries, Pokeblocks, and this food, first introduced for contests in Diamond and Pearl. Daisy. What are Poppins? Correct. Uh, spin-offs, 600. Or spin-offs. It's the only spin-off series to have different versions akin to the main games, Explorers of Time and Explorers of Darkness. Daisy. Uh, what are Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Yes, everyone buzzed for that one. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's like a, the one I knew. <laughs> Listen, it's the first bit of Pokemon game I played. <laughs> it's the first Pokemon game I played, period. <laughs> Spinoff or not. Uh, Spinoffs for 800, please. You got it. Bandai Namco utilized their expertise from developing Tekken to create this two-word title of 2015. Daisy. Uh, what is Pokken? Tournament. There we go. Tournament, yep. Spinoff's 1,000. Good choice. Oh boy. Oh boy. Right. Um, how much would you like to wager? Because this question is this clue is just for you. Let's do half. Okay, so eighteen hundred. And spin-offs, this one's just for Daisy. Here you go. Consisting of toy Pokemon, essentially wind-up toys, this may be the only series to technically not have the titular creatures. What is Pokemon Rumble? Pokemon Rumble's correct, so you add eighteen hundred. Let's go missing letter for two hundred. Alright. Corva Knight. Daisy. Uh, what is K? Yeah, it's a knight as in shining armor. Letter 400, please. <laughs> Diplin. Donnie. What is P? There's, There's a second double? P. There's a second P in there, yeah. Predict the battle text for 400. All right. Crush Claw is used on Litwick. Donnie. What is it? It does not affect... Uh, correct, Litwick. correct. No, no more long ghosts. You're correct. Predict the battle text 600. Okay. Axe Kick is used on Swalot. Daisy. What is it's not very effective? Finding on Poison, correct. Missing letter 800. <laughs> Stone Journer. Zach. What is you? Yeah, Stone Journer, like a journey. I got one, yay. So, uh, missing letter 1000. I'm so proud! I am so <laughs> proud! <laughs> of where are the money, Zach? <laughs> <laughs> you got it! <laughs> Missing letter 1000. <laughs> Missing letter 1000. Finish this category off. Gyarados. Daisy. Uh, what is A? Yeah, Gyarados. Gyarados. <laughs> Only one I knew! Gyarados! Gyarados! Uh, cool. uh, predict the battle text 800. Predi <laughs> more, pre more predicting. Outraged is used on Noibat. Donnie. What is? It's super effective! Because it is, yes. Let's put I shall predict in the battle text. You got it. A dire Claw is used on Hisuian Gudra. Um, Daisy. What is it's not very effective? No. Zach. What is it's super effective? No. Damn it. <clears throat> Randy. <laughs> Randy. Does Randy remember the third one? <laughs> I did! Wait! Am I muted? What are you hearing? <laughs> Randy said again. <laughs> <laughs> I will take it. It does not affect it. His two Gudra has a For four. For four. Named after the co-founder of Game Freak, this method quintuples encounter rates, breeding Pokemon from different languages of origin. Donnie. What is the Medusa effect? It's not. Sorry. Uh, damn it. Daisy. What is the Mitsuda effect? I think you're also incorrect. Oh. What? Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Uh, Daisy, spell yours, or say, say it again. M-I-T-S-U-D-A. Ah. That'd be incorrect. It's Masuda. Ah. There's no T in there. Well, I mispronounced it like a silly. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, the person you mentioned, like, turns people to stone. I, I do not like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love getting stoned. Ooh. I thought... I thought you meant as in rocks getting thrown at you, but then else else is gonna throw the stone at you. No, that's, Zach, so that, that's no. not what I meant by stoned, Donnie. <laughs> uh, shiny hunting, a thousand. Okay, to the bottom. Gen 6 introduced this two word method of catching shinies. It reaches a maximum of 1% for a streak of 20 or more Pokemon. Daisy. What is shiny power? It's not. Oof. Um, I would have accepted chain fishing or consecutive fishing. Ah! Ah! Ready? Ready? I knew it! Ah! 
<laughs> Any hunting aid. All right. It's the bright, strong sandwich buff in Scarlet Violet that increases the odds of shiny encounters. Daisy. What is shiny power? <laughs> it's not shiny power! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! It's actually called sparkling power. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Randy! <laughs> Randy! Pick again, Randy! <laughs> Randy! 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 4,000 is correct, yes, 4,096. I was gonna say the actual number, but then I realized, oh wait, you want me to round it. Because I'm a nerd. <laughs> uh, very interesting 600. <laughs> Between XY and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, this berry color was removed, affecting Chesto and Payapa, among others. Zach. What is yellow? It's not yellow, good guess though. Okay. I should thought it was yellow. Um, it's actually Blue? purple. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 800. 800. It's a berry that can also start the name of a Pokemon. Hint, there are five correct responses to choose from. <laughs> Your five berries are Lum for Luminion, Orin for Orenguru, Koba for Cobalion, Roselli for Roselia, and the most recent one is Petcha, because Petcharunt is now a Pokemon. We got one last clue here, and very interesting. Yes. Here we go. It's the Gen 2 berry that shares a connection with Persim, Lum, and Toga. Because all three of those cure confusion, Gen 2 berry is bitter berry. Okay. Oh. Alright, well done, trainers. <laughs> at least, at least most, you. most of you are in the positive. I can take that. Thanks, Utter. <laughs> 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 okay. Zach, you're going first. This is Double Jeopardy. Look at all those extra Poke Dollars. Yay. And there's two hidden daily doubles this time. Yay. Here we go. We're going to start off with Otter's travel log. Figure out which city or town I'm in based on the clues given. We then have Pokemon on the silver screen. I have taken these movie titles, and you have to fill in the blank. We're then going to quote the gym leader. I give you a quote. Tell me which gym leader is saying it. And then, because, you know, this is a competition around Pokemon, but it also exists in the real world. Your fourth category is VGC World Championships. Ooh, oh, this is where I fall. <laughs> this is where I fall. We're going to have <laughs> New Gen Who Dits in Category 5. And then in Category 6, Who's That Pokey Portmanteau? So, for example, if I show you a clue and it points towards Gengar and Garchomp, your response is, what is Gengar Chomp? Oh god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you names. Let's Sorry. see Utter's travel log for sixteen hundred. Okay. Oh fuck me! <laughs> fuck me! <laughs> Two thousand, I don't give a shit. Two thousand. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> for Two thousand Pokebucks, where am I? Here's your clue. Huh, <sighs> all this walking is killing me. Hey, a bike shop! I'll be able to get my shopping done early and spend more time playing Voltorb Flip! <laughs> Donnie is gonna kill me. What is Paris? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Donnie, kill him. What is Golden Rod? Golden Rod Cities would be correct if, if Donnie got it. Okay. <laughs> no, I have hours and hours and hours on Voltorb Flip. Yep. The hours on Voltorb Flip I have. <laughs> Voltorb Flip! <laughs> Poke Portmanteau for 400. Okay, let's try this out. The Pokemon that gives you bad dreams plus the evolved form of Ash's partner. Daisy. What is Dark Raichu? Dark Ryan Raichu, good. Poke Portmanteau 800, please. The Pokemon that could evolve into Belly Bolt plus a Kanto starter. That's Tad Bulbasaur. Oh. Okay. New gen who this for 400. All right. Everyone, update your type charts. Gen 9 just added this one. Bring the total to 19. Or 
we're not. Um, that one's stellar. That is stellar type. Okay. Stellar. Oh, that's what it's called. Uh, stellar. Stellar type, yes. Yeah, it's exclusive. But that's to, not uh, a stellar. Stellar. No, I yeah. heard the name. <laughs> I'm still in shock, but that's no, Randy, 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 I don't think you're understanding. It's Stellar type. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a type they added to Gen 9, so there's 19 total ones now. Yeah, it's, it's exclusive to the, uh, the Terraform ba uh, in battles. Tropicos. Yeah, Tropicos. Uh, yeah, what's the name again? St a stellar. stellar. I think it's called Stellar. Uh, Pokemon on the Stellar oh, screen for uh, 400. <laughs> right here, Pokemon on the Stellar screen for 400. Yes. Okay, here we go. On the Stellar screen. 2019, Detective Blank. David. What is Pikachu? Detective Pikachu, yes. I was so ready to be like, IT'S PIKACHU! <laughs> <laughs> Silver screen, 800. Oh my god. More stellar screens, 800. 2001, Spell of the Blank Entei. Donnie. What is unknown? Yes, the unknown. Pokemon Silver screen, 1200. 2004, Jirachi Blank Maker. Donnie. What is Wish? Wishmaker, correct. Silver screen, 600. 1600. 2009, Blank and the Sky Warrior. Donnie? What is Garatina? Right again. Oh. <laughs> 2000. 2000. 2000. Yeah. 2009, Arceus and the Blank of Life. Donnie. What is Jewel? It is Jewel. Good for 2000. I'm so ready to say <laughs> Circle of Life. <laughs> I was ready to say Secret Life of Pets, so... <laughs> Hunter's Travel Log 400. Okay, more travel log. Okay. Ah, a beautiful quiet day in... Hey, that ten-year-old is in a hurry. Did he oversleep and miss an appointment with Professor Oak? Donnie? What is Pallet Town? Pallet Town's where I'm at, yeah. Uh, travel log 800. Man, there's not much here besides the gym and the trainer school. Why did they write a song about being on the road to here anyway? We're on the road to Viridian City. Cool. Oh. <laughs> uh, 1200 travel right, We're traveling. So many avenues and plazas. I'll take a cab or go go to see you play. Donnie. What is Luminous City? Yeah, the one after Paris. Let's put our shots that category. Finish off this category for 2000. Yo, this industrial complex is kind of cool. I can spend some time training here before messing up the plasma grunts at the harbor. Donnie. Oh, god damn it. No! No! <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm timing you. Yeah, uh, that's fair. That one is a Verbank city. Okay. Oh, wait, I would have mistook it for another town anyway. Ugh. <laughs> New Gen Who Dis 800. Since Gen 7, Alola, Galar, Hisui, and Paldia have reintroduced Pokemon under these variants. Daisy. What are regional variants? Yeah, regional forms. Yeah, that, that works. New Gen Who Dis, 1200. Hardcore fans know of this portmanteau event when it was announced at E3 2019 that 455 Pokemon would not come to Sword and Shield. Okay. That was Dexit. I was thinking oh, Dexit, but then the Pokemon Massacre. So <laughs> better. <laughs> oh my God! Pokemon Massacre. Never forget um, the Great Pokemon Massacre 2019. Yeah. It was brutal. Uh, new Gen 16. Keep going on with New Gen. Gen 1 was an unbalanced time, especially with this stat. Thank goodness it was split into two new values later. Donnie. Damn. What is the special set? Yes, yeah, special, and then special attack, special defense later on. New Gen Who Dis for 2000. Finish off New Gen Who Dis. Prior to Gen 3, a Pokemon's shininess was based on these values. Now it's based on other values, like trainer ID and secret ID numbers. And those were called the IVs. Ah. I know it. I should have said. Poke up. Poke up. Poke up. Sound it out. <laughs> yeah, Donnie. Who's that? Who's that you got this, Donnie. You got this, Donnie. <laughs> Who's that for a good event above the, 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 the 1200? <laughs> yeah! You did it. For 1200, because I know what that is. 
<laughs> the Flycatcher Pokemon, plus the Pokemon it just evolved from. And that would be Weepin' Bellsprout. Bellsprout evolves in a Weepin' Bell. Oh. oh. 600. <laughs> 600. 60. 60. Okay. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> the Electric Stag Beetle Pokemon, plus the Pokemon that can blow itself up. Maybe not the best idea. Donnie? What is Vika Voltorb? Vika Voltorb is correct. <laughs> I hate having a speech of veteran so much! Can you finish off that category? I will. <laughs> Your last clue and who's that Poke Portmanteau for 2000? Here we go. The Pokemon that knows Sticky Hold and Storm Drain, plus the Pokemon that resembles Iron Tread. Iron Tread's one of them stellar types, I believe. Uh, that is Gastra Fan. Ah. My favorite. What's the gym leader for 400? Let's start quoting gym leaders. You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. Daisy. Who is Lieutenant Surge? That's him. Uh, gym leaders for eight? Eight? Gym. Anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit chatting. Daisy. Uh, who is Larry? Right again. Uh, gym leader 12? I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Shanwood, but that's across the sea. Donnie. Who is Jasmine? Jasmine says that all the lighthouse, yes. Cut the gym leader sixteen under. Okay. Oh hello. Uh I'll wager two thousand. Two thousand and quote the gym leader, this clue is just for you, Donnie. Here we go. This combination of ours, can you beat it? Who is Tate and Liza? Yeah, the double pair of yep. location marks gives it to you. Yes. That's the one I knew. 2000. Quote the gym leader. Now come at me. My lens is always focused on victory. I won't let anything ruin this shot. The photographer from X and Y is Viola. I always forget the names of the Gen 6 gym leader. He didn't hey, include hey. Lenora, and for that, you should be punished. Lenora's Gen 5. No, 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 I know Lenora's Gen 5, but Lenora is hot, therefore... She should have been in the What category. does that have to do with not, me not remembering gym leaders of Gen 6? No, 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 no. I said that, 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 that Lenora should be included in the category. Oh, uh, next, next time, I'm I'm silly. Silly. Donnie, you weren't the problem! <laughs> Let me fight. I, I, I am confusion. Speaking of confusion, Pokemon World Championships are 400. Here we go, save the best for last. <laughs> Sage and Park iconically won with this Ella Squirrel Pokemon in 2014. So much so that South Korea held a festival in his honor after his win. Daisy. Uh, who is Pachirisu? Yeah, fast and broke so far, 4 milliseconds. Let's just go in order here, VGC 8. Alright, picture clue. Wolfie's iconic face seen here is when this Pokemon used Swords Dance. In a later interview, he said it was a misclick. Also somewhat iconic when his Verquaza did Swords Dance. Oh. Because he needs to win okay. off of that. Uh, 12. For 12. 12. Ray Rizzo holds the records for most championships won. Name any of the consecutive years when he obtained his three wins. Donnie. What is 2013? No, sorry. Okay. Uh, the correct years were 2010, 2011, and 2012. Oh, I offered oh, one. damn it! I was gonna go one higher for 2014, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 16. All right. Further off. According to the ProMade VGC guide, the most quintessential move for a team is this one, even if it doesn't actually do anything offensively. Daisy. Uh, what is Baton Pass? It's not actually. Oh. Randy. What is substitute? Also not substitute. Uh, Donnie. What is sport? It's not that one. Zach, why not? Yeah, but there, Zach. I know what it's not. Uh, what is uh, Swords Dance? <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but, but one, move, one move that you need uh, protect. Okay. Ah, just 
Just yep. finish us off. <laughs> Put us out of our misery. Finish it. <laughs> the most recent Master's Division champion. He won with Maraidon, Ogre Pond, Urshifu, that's a typo, Iron Hands, Whimsicott, and Frigorath. Sorry about that. Uh, he won in August 2024, this last month. That's Luca Cerebelli. Okay, um, so I need to, uh, to, to, two of you are not making it. You're not real trainers. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we never were. <laughs> <laughs> but, as we operate in the Jeopardy server, everyone deserves to play final. So let's give you some money. Um, and, you know, Donnie, I know, like, you, you mathematically can't lose, but, you know, you're allowed to if you want. You can bet high enough. You're allowed to. <laughs> you're, 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 you're allowed to force yourself to lose. <laughs> I'm keeping my money. No, no. I'm... <laughs> I... <laughs> So we're gonna play final, everyone, and your category is fittingly tournament of champions. Okay, all four wagers are in. Tournament of champions is your final category. Here's the clue. Along with Pikachu, three of five Pokemon who won the Masters Eight tournament finals, along with a certain trainer who finally became the best, like no one ever was. You have thirty seconds. Good luck. Okay, that's your 30 seconds. Man, which trainer were we talking about? I'm gonna start off with Zach, who wrote down this. <laughs> for, the, for, the sake of, for the sake of your recording, can I actually play this? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, we're gonna watch this together. Let's go catch you one Poké Dollar. Well spent, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> Randy! Randy? <laughs> can't get Final War alone. <laughs> We're laughing and take my money. I will, I will. I'll take 980. I got 20 bucks, hey. bitches. <laughs> Jokes on you, I got 999. Ooh, Daisy, not bad. What are Charizard, Greninja, and Zubat? Um, Daisy, my apologies. You are 0 for 3. Oof. I'm actually 0 for 3. None, none of these were used in the Master's Day tournament. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Daisy, you bet, you bet all of it. Oof. Yeah. So you got down to zero. Yeah, I got second. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I may have been a fool and absolute buffoon and misread the question. Oh, did oh. you? Oh, this, well, no, no, this is hilarious when you think about it now. <laughs> <laughs> I, may, I might have misread the question! My favorite I Pokemon, might... who is Ash Ketchum! <laughs> I might <laughs> <laughs> that part of the show is so hype when Pikachu. Was that the only one who win. actually answered the question? <laughs> <laughs> In case you're curious, uh, the sixth Pokemon that Ash used to finally win, and that's why he's no longer part of the anime, uh, is Pikachu, Gengar, Surfetched, Lucario, Dracovish, and Dragonite. Okay. Dragon one. All right. How do I not? Okay. Donnie, you're going to lose 269, but at 11,931 Poké Dollars, you are now the best trainer. There Congratulations, Donnie! I, 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 <laughs> there we go. Uh, I won! I won! I won! You did it, Donnie! <laughs> As if there was ever any doubt. <laughs>
Well, this was very fun. Thank you for hosting, Utter. This was fun, it yeah. It was very fun. <laughs>